Okay, so Warner Brothers recently released a trailer for Godzilla and Kong, The New Empire, and man, oh man. I don't know who was cooking that Warner Brothers studio, but they need to start bringing a toothbrush and a sleeping bag to the kitchen because that is their new home. Quick disclaimer before we begin though, I really don't want no issues with copyright, so I really try to avoid posting too many trailer clips. I might post some, but I won't like post a whole trailer in succession throughout the video. I'll mainly just be posting like relevant clips on the screen so you can just like use your power of imagination or something to like get to the rest of the video. But I'm guessing most of y'all have already seen it since you're watching the video, so that really shouldn't be an issue. But just in case you haven't seen it, I guess I'll give you a second to, you know, like and subscribe and, you know, go watch the trailer before you come back. They're back? Alright, let's get to it. Back to the trailer though. We start off with the... What is that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Oh, a seismometer. <laughs> Look at that, bruh. Not even two minutes into the vid and you already learned something. Are you not entertained? Come on now. But yeah, I don't know if it's just me, but having this in the intro is actually a masterclass move on the producer's part. The sound it made paired with the video cuts just creates so much suspense, bruh. But hold on. Is that Kong? Yo! And he got the bionic enhancements? Yeah, who let Donald Davenport cook? I'm finna lose it and we're barely 40 seconds to the trailer, bruh. Let's just move on before I go crazy. So we skip to Kong's home turf of Hollow Earth and we see Bro Straight moving through the plains. Now I'm a bit of an ape myself, so. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on now. Let me just explain myself before y'all come at me in them comments talking about some Dr. King did not risk his life just for you to degrade yourself as a mere primate. Cause I know he didn't. But since you're already in them damn comments, let me know if as a kid, you used to run up the stairs on all fours like an ape. Cause I know it wasn't just me. But if by some chance it was, then maybe I am just a Back to Kong and his movement though, I have to say that his form while he was running through the plains was immaculate and I know y'all want me to move on, but look, I used to be a former connoisseur of this movement style myself so I have to comment on it. Look at that, no wasted movement and perfect distribution of weight in his arms and legs bro. I'm telling y'all, a future Olympian right there. Anyways, I also love how while he's just chilling and roaming through his city, Kong doesn't have the stick on him and he just fights with straight hands. I also love how he keeps Stormbreaker away from the big bosses like Godzilla and my goodness, that's a big ape. Wait, false alarm. It's just Pete from around the corner. We good, bruh. My fault. No, no, but on some real stuff, y'all peep how Kong always has to fight above his pay grade? No, like, think about it, think about it. We know that he was only a teenager on Skull Island and he was fighting the same people who murdered his parents after he watched them die as a child. Like while we were learning geometry in ninth grade, my dog was out there spinning the block for his pops, bruh. Like how can you not love this guy? Then he has to fight Godzilla himself, an ancient tank of a reptile that can shoot beams out of his mouth and has been ruling for hundreds of years. And don't forget how we fought him unarmed the first time in unfamiliar territory. Wait, hold on. Is this not familiar? Gohan, is that you? Nah, 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 nah. Cause think about it, think about it. Gohan also watched his parent die in front of him as a child. He also fought the same person who killed his dad as a teenager. He also fought an ancient ruler. He also constantly fights above his pay grade. And to top it off, what do Sans transform into during scary hours? Exactly. I'm telling you, bruh. Them producers at WB need to switch careers because they belong in the kitchen. Got the DBZ reference in this book? Nah. Them writers must have switched out their penny for gasoline because one stroke of the pen got that script on straight fire. Damn. Holy smokes, bro. I'm finna lose it again. Let's just move on before I do. All right, all right, all right. Turns out that Kong was not the only one of his kind and was actually part of what seems to be a warrior race of apes. And get this, I get this. They got wiped out by what seems to be a ruthless tyrant. Yep, I can't even make this up anymore, bruh. This is Kong Ball Z and I'm loving it. No Mickey D's. That's enough about Kong though. I've been yapping about him for a minute. Jeez. Let's move on to the big blue boy scout. And I ain't talking Clark Kent. Wait a 
minute, oh, wait a I minute, wait a minute. A is that rose gold? Oh, bro got called the big blue boy scout and was not having it. Went straight to that character customization screen, bro. Gosh, damn. Now we know why Godzilla always chilling in the Arctic. Bro knew he was too icy and had to be with his people for real, bro. Like, damn, dude. Share some chill with us, Brody. Like, think about it. How are you a cold-blooded reptile with ice in your veins, living in an iceberg with ice on your back? Like, huh? Zane and Bobby Drake, bro. Y'all need to keep an eye out because Godzilla coming for that master of ice title. Holy smokes. Bro, woke up and rang the alarm immediately. Had to let the world know the king was awake and I love it. But little did my ice twin know, there was a new king on the block and he was taking no prisoners. And that's how his mama started back up. Surely so knows about to get serious. And then the big bad pulls up and it's, hold on. King Louie, is that you? Oh nah, my dog already took that new year new me to the max, bruh. Hey, I'll get out some paper and start taking notes. This guy is the living embodiment of self-improvement. Got beat by a human child on his own surface, said never again. Bro chose violence against the whole race. Said forget the jungle, I'm trying to rule the whole world. And y'all might be asking, how do you get so big? How do you get so tall? Well, listen to this, my dear viewer. We're watching Kong Ball Z. And where do you let you can get 10 years worth of training in 10 days? You guessed it. Bro disappeared into the hyperbolic time chamber and came back as a new man. Gosh, damn, Andy be hitting the gym heavy? My goodness. But hold on, who let bro cook, bruh? Because he must have been in that chamber studying poses too. Cause look! Bro posted on that new throne like he knew he was in an edit. Now I see why Godzilla has beef with bro. Bro doesn't care about ruling the planet. He been sleeping this whole time. He woke up because he sensed a disturbance in the dripmosphere. Was dreaming peacefully in that iceberg when a new challenger appeared. No smash bros. Well, not real note though. If this scene is real and Godzilla and Kong have to team up against the Scar King, then he must actually be a problem. We know these two don't mess with each other, so if they have to jump him just to box, then Scar King's hands must be A1. Whew, I know that was a lot, but this trailer really just had me geeked the whole time. When this trailer fed me a full course meal through my screen, you would have thought I was watching Toriko, like my goodness. Had an appetizer, main dish, dessert, and a drink? Yeah, Applebee's, y'all need to pull out your paper too and start jotting this down like yesterday. <laughs> Alright, let me chill, let me chill. But that's enough out of me though. I hope y'all enjoyed this trailer as much as I did, because me personally, I just love kaiju movies. Whether it's this, Pacific Rim, Rampage, or even Jurassic World, uh, just the first one though. But this movie looks like it's going to be my GTA 6, so if y'all don't see me leave my house until it drops, then you know why. Not gonna lie, if y'all made it this far, first off, big ups to y'all, and big thanks for me and my team, which it's still just me, so... Um, kind of awkward but uh, as a gift i wanted to give you guys some bloopers that i had from this video and from the last video i was supposed to post it was about the new marvel season 2 the what if thing on disney plus yeah but i dropped it too late and then the season came out before i dropped it and you don't drop a trailer review after the show is out so i don't want the video to go away so i'll just show you guys some bloopers from that video and this video and hopefully you guys enjoy it because honestly i had a lot of fun recording the script even though it might not sound like it in the bloopers, but yeah, it takes a lot of work to write the script and then record it in like different takes and edit it. So I really appreciate it for you guys getting this far. So thank you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me explain myself before y'all come in them comments talking about some Dr. King did not risk his life for you to degrade yourself as a mere primate. Cause I know he didn't. But since y'all already in them damn comments, let me know if as a kid you used to... <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I can't post this. That's insane. No, 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 no. I'll keep it in the blooper. I'll keep it in the blooper. That's insane, though. No. Oh my gosh, they're gonna kill me. <laughs> now I see why Godzilla has beef with bro. Bro doesn't care about rolling the planet. He was sleeping the whole time. He woke up because he sensed a disturbance in the dripmosphere. Was well, dreaming peacefully in that iceberg when a new challenger appeared. No Smash Bros. But on a real note, though, if this scene is real and Godzilla and Kong have to team up against the this. <laughs> I really hate recording, bro. I'm keeping this. I don't care. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that rose gold? Ah! <laughs> bro, what I actually sound like Godzilla right there, bro. He's really my ice twin, bro. Oh, I'm going to put that in the video. I'll put that in the video. That's funny. <laughs> but on a real note, though, if this scene is real and Godzilla and Kong have to team up against the Scar King, then he must actually be a problem. 
We know these two don't mess with each other. So that shut up! Oh my gosh, I can't. I just can't, bro. And y'all might be asking, how do you get so big? How do you get so tall? Well, listen to this, my dear viewer. We're watching Kong Ball Z, and where do you know that you can get ten years worth of training in ten days? That's right, the hyperbolic time chamber. Go. I don't know what I'm doing, bro. I wanted to make it like different so bad that I just oh my gosh, why is this part so long? Pause, bro. Rick. Back to Kong and his movement, though. I have to say that his form while he was running through them planes was immaculate. No wasted movement. Perfect distribution of his weight in his arms and legs. A future Olympian right there. Chai. Bro, did you just say Chai on record? Bro. Bro. Are you not embarrassed? I'm not gonna lie. I'm keeping this in. I don't care. And I already know y'all type it in them comments. But Ting, the battle was peak. What do you mean a retelling? And to that, I wholeheartedly love. And then, yeah. <laughs> Now we already know Cap got the most drip on the squad. <laughs> Since she's a completely new character, I don't really got much to say about her, but she seems like a cool little addition to the landscape, and I'm hoping we get to see her appear in the comments after the season ends. But <sighs> I don't even know what to do, bro. That's the third day. <sighs> Let me just chill out, bruh. Drive by on a rat, you a walking cop. Double park, new Lambo with no parking spot. Come on, that's God, so use my heart a lot.